Alright, what's going on guys? It's Nick here bringing us a brand new video and what this is is my March Madness uh, 2017 um, This is my 2017 bracket. Uh, the bracket just got announced. Uh, it's currently 5.30, so like Sunday happened an hour ago. They, put, they announced the bracket. Um, there was some shockers like Duke being a two seed. I thought they'd be over North Carolina with North Carolina losing twice to them. Um, Northern or er, Illinois State and Syracuse not making it in. Obviously, I know why, but I feel like they're better than some of these bubble teams. Uh, but there definitely are some very good matchups. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get right in. So first up in the East, I'm gonna obviously take Villanova. I don't think a one seed's gonna lose to a 16 team. Um, I'm gonna go like uh, up, down, up, down, and may piss people some piss some people off, but that's just how I'm gonna do it. Uh, Duke is gonna be Troy. Um, I'm gonna go with Marquette over South Carolina. I feel like they have um, a very good backcourt, and I feel like they're very well offensively. Um, I think that a 10th seed is kind of underwhelming for this team, but you know, I'm gonna go with Baylor. Uh, um, Baylor over New Mexico State. Uh, I think that's pretty pretty easy to say. Uh, Wisconsin, I think is gonna beat Virginia Tech, but they get they kind of get bragged for having to play um, Villanova. I think Virginia will be UNC Wilmington, and then, uh, you know, East Tennessee has been a shocker to some teams. I'm actually going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with East Tennessee um, to pull off the upset over number four Florida. I think this is the most competitive bracket we've had. I think a lot of the, uh, uh, what is it, the 5 to 12 seeds are probably big, big upsets, like, um, like Princeton, Notre Dame, I think could be a good game. Middle Tennessee, Minnesota. And uh, yeah, it's it's it, they're gonna be good games. I think that's a that's a not a shocker to some people. Uh, SMU, they're a really good team. I think they're a sleeper team in this tournament. I have them going. Now moving on to the uh, Midwest, I think Kansas beats uh, I don't even North Central or North Central or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go with Michigan State or Miami. I think that'd be a very good uh, round of 32 matchup. Uh, Iowa State. Versus Nevada, I'm hesitant. I'm gonna go with Nevada in this one. I think that that upset. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh no. Oh god. Oh okay. Uh, I'm just gonna reset that real quick and go through my pick. Um, I don't really like how this is uh, formatted. Oh no. Uh, Villanova. We're here. Kansas. Michigan State. All right. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Nevada for the upset. Uh, I'm going to follow it up with a Purdue win. I think Purdue uh, will not accept for Sean like last year. Um, I think they just got a bad matchup with Little Rock. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This bracket's kind of, the Midwest is kind of like really easy for me. I'm going to go with uh, Louisville over Jackson, or Jackson State. I think that's who that is. I don't even know. Oregon or Iana, over Ayana. I'm going to go with Rhode Island over Creighton. I think that most people have this upset. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not that high on Creighton right now. I know they, uh, you know, they played really well towards the end of the season to get that 60, but I don't know. I'm going to go with uh, Michigan State over Oklahoma State. And then to scroll down, I'm going to go down to the south real quick. This one as well, I think, is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go with North Carolina. I'm going to go with Arkansas. Or I'm actually going to go with Seton Hall. Seton Hall, I think, can pull off that upset over Arkansas. I'm going to go with Middle Tennessee. Actually, I think they're very underrated. Um, a lot of people have them in this uh, over Minnesota, like, on the Reddit forums for March Madness, a lot of people are like, rip Minnesota, like, rest in peace, like, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with Butler over Winthrop, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Wake Forest coming out and then beating Cincinnati, uh, UCLA beating Kent State, Wichita State beating Dayton, and then Kentucky beating Northern Kentucky. Alright, moving over to the West, I'm gonna go with Gonzaga, I'm gonna go with, uh, Northwestern, I think they'll get their first ever tournament win. Notre Dame, I'm gonna go with West Virginia, uh... I'm gonna go with Maryland. Uh, I, I'm not really too fond of Maryland. I think they're like a, they're like a, if they're an easy upset team, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Florida State. You know, I really want to pick Florida Gulf Coast. I just don't feel like they have the, the good, they, they don't have a good enough defense to slow down Florida State, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna go with VCU or St. Mary's. I think that's a pretty good upset to choose on Arizona or North Dakota. So back up to the top. This is what my uh. I'm gonna slowly scroll down. This is what my round of 32 will look like. All right, so back up uh, in the East. I'm gonna go with Illinois or Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin got really bracket fucked with uh, Minnesota. 
Michigan and uh, Maryland all getting higher seeds than them. Uh, I think that played really well in the tournament. They they got beat by Michigan pretty badly. I think it was like a twenty point game today. Uh, but Michigan being a way higher seed or like being a higher seed than them and getting an easier bracket is like not right. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, East Tennessee over Virginia. I think they're that one team every year that you know that people sleep on that end up making a really good tournament run. Um, <coughs> although I could be wrong, they could bomb out first round, and we could get a pretty good West Virginia or, or West Virginia, Virginia versus uh, Florida game. But I think East Tennessee makes it to the Sweet game. Uh, I'm gonna go with Baylor over SMU. I mean SMU, a lot of people have uh, you know as a it's like a dark horse, but I don't know. I just feel like Baylor, you know, after last year's disappointing run against Yale, like, they're going to redeem themselves, I think. Uh, I'm going to go Duke. Obviously, I think that Marquette, yes, they could put up a fight. I don't think it's going to be close. It'll be, like, a 20-point game. I think it'll be, like, like 90-70 to 70 or something, but I don't know. Duke's been really hot as of late. Uh, you know, let's see. Yeah, their RPI 6, strength schedule, you know. You know, they're averaging more points per game. You know, it's just, it's just more, you know, it's just a better pick. Uh, going down to the west, I'm going to go with um, Gonzaga over Northwestern. Northwestern getting into the tournament for the first time this year. I don't think they'll do much besides maybe get that first round over Vanderbilt. Uh, I'm going to go with Notre Dame over West Virginia. A lot of people are probably shocked by that, but Notre Dame's just been playing really well as of late. I know, um, I don't think they did too hot in their uh, tournament, but I still think that they have a good chance of showing up in this in this tournament and like making some noise. I'm going to go Florida State over Maryland. I'm not too hot on Maryland right now. Uh, I have been beating Xavier because I'm just not confident with Xavier. Uh, and then I'm going to go with Arizona over VCU. Uh, Arizona, you know, I think they should have been a one seed, but that's just me. Obviously, like, Gonzaga being one seed, I'm not too hot. But. Uh, up to the Midwest, I'm going to go with uh, Kansas over Michigan State. I think it's going to be a really good game, but I'm just going to go with Kansas. I think Michigan State kind of fucked up not, you know, going far last year. kind of like their first round. and. That was the team that they could have won a national championship with. They played at their full potential, but, you know, shit happens. Uh, I'm going to go with Purdue over Nevada. Um, I think that's pretty, like, I think, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of people aren't really too fond of uh, Nevada. I've watched them play. You know, they're they're averaging a decent amount of points per game, not giving up too many points. Uh, Marshall, Drew, and uh, Carolina have been playing really well. Carolina, I actually watched. I actually know who this is. Marshall, I've seen... He hit, like, a game where earlier in the season or something like that. Uh, yeah. The Mountain West. The Big Ten, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Rhode Island, Oregon. I'm gonna go with Oregon here. Rhode Island, uh, I don't remember. People are saying that it's, like, a Sweet 16 team, but I don't see that happening. Let's see. Uh, Michigan, Louisville. I'm gonna go with Michigan with the upset. I think Louisville's gonna come out. I think they're gonna have a rough game against Jacksonville State. Um, I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be like a close game with that, but I think they're going to start slow. And then, you know, it's just going to come up and bite them when Michigan's been playing really hot as of late. Um, and I just really don't like Louisville, to be completely honest. Uh, that's just like a, that's like a biased pick, but I still think that Michigan can pull off the upset. Next up, North Carolina State Hall. I'm going to go with North Carolina. They're, uh, they're, it's just pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one is also I'm going to upset. I'm going to put Middle Tennessee over Butler. I really like Middle Tennessee this year. If you look at um, their matchups, uh, a lot of people are picking for being a 12th seed. A lot of people are picking Middle Tennessee. They went 17-1 in conference. They finished number one in their division. You know, they're uh, scoring a lot of points per game. They're allowing less points per game than Butler was. Obviously, Butler being you know, the Big East is probably more of a, um, it's obviously a tougher conference, but I still think that Middle Tennessee comes to play in these tournaments. They showed it last year, beating Michigan State, and they returned a lot of players this year, so I think that that's a, that's a upset potential game. I'm going to go with UCLA over uh, Wake Forest. Wake Forest is going to come out of the game over uh, over Kansas State, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just have UCLA. I think a lot of the balls are playing really well. It was a late. They could have gotten the two seed. Um, yeah, but w with their division, I think it's it's pretty well seeded. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Kentucky. I think it's going to be a really good game. It's probably the best game in the Sweet 16. Uh, winner of this probably is going to make the Final Four, but that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, I'm not going to pick. I don't know. You'll see what I pick in a minute. Now, uh, this is my uh, Sweet 16 matchups. All right, and then going up, uh, I'm going to start down here. Um, UCLA, Kentucky. I'm going to go with UCLA. I really am high on Lonzo Ball right now, and I think he's been playing great basketball so late. Their defense is insane. Um, if you see here, they're... 
Yeah, they're allowing they're sco- they're outscoring their opponents by fifteen. Uh, you know their RPI isn't as high as uh wild, the Wildcats, but you know a lot of people picking them. They finished third in the Pac-12. The Pac-12 was pretty hard. They you had Arizona and then uh who else? Who else was in the Pac-12? I can't remember. I'm losing my brain right now. Uh, but you know I I don't know. You had and then you had uh Kentucky finished at first in the SEC. I don't know. I don't really think the SEC. I think the SEC is kind of overrated, but that's just me. Uh, but I'm going to go with UCLA in that one to make the uh, Elite Eight. Uh, North Carolina, Middle Tennessee. Uh, I really want to pick North or Middle Tennessee just because that's Cinderella. Sorry, but I think North Carolina is going to get it down. They're hungry after last year. You know, They felt like they got robbed. You know, they The foul that was missed near the end of the game, then the buzzer beater, it was just not a good combination. I think that team's going to be really hot coming into this event. Oregon, Michigan. I'm going to go with Oregon here. Um... Oregon being a three seed, uh, you know, I think that's kind of low. Um, they could have been a two seed easily. I think they could have been over Louisville. Um, but I think the matchup against Michigan is really well for them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they finished second. Oh, that's the team, right? The Pac-12, yeah. So they finished second at the Pac-12. You know, they, they have the nine RPI. Their strength schedule is pretty well. They have really good defense, and they score a lot of points. Um, you know, Brooks was averaging, yeah, oh, it says right here, 16 points a game. Um, I don't know. And you see here, Michigan feels like it's carried by everyone. Uh, yeah, they were pretty bad. But I'm going to go with um, Oregon in that one. And then this is going to be a good game, in my opinion. Kansas versus Purdue. I'm going to go with Kansas, but I think that Purdue will keep it close, like a three-point game maybe or something like that. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, East Tennessee versus Villanova. I'm gonna go with Villanova here. Um, the reigning national champions, I think, can get back to the Elite Eight with ease. I think they get a really good bracket. Besides maybe Wisconsin playing a really good game, but Wisconsin losing uh, to Michigan, I think, showed a lot of their flaws. Um, they couldn't really control the paint the paint that well, and they got dominated in the three point line. Uh, but I don't know Villanova if they can hit their threes and they can, you know, if they can spread spread the ball around. I think they have a good chance of winning that game pretty easy. Uh, Baylor Duke. I'm gonna go with Duke here. Um, this is a th- this should have been a round two matchup last year, but Yale pulled off the upset against Baylor. Uh, I really was looking. I had Duke winning this game last year as well, but I just think Duke's too hot right now. They beat. They just beat their rivals in UNC for the second time. Uh, I think they're hungry to get back to a national championship. Um. You know, they're just a great team right now, and I don't think they're being stopped anytime soon. Alright, so Gonzaga, Notre Dame. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, damn it, I'm going to go with Gonzaga. I think that they're they're overrated as a one seed. I think if they were a two seed, they'd be they'd, they'd have the right bracket, but I think they're not fit for a one seed, but I still think they're a good team. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Gonzaga here. Um, I think if they played West Virginia, though, they'd probably lose just because of the matchups. But I think Notre Dame versus West Virginia, in my opinion, just favors Notre Dame a little bit more. Uh, you know, they they have a really good backcourt. Their three-point shot has been insane recently. Um, they played RA in their tournament. I don't recall if they won it or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't. I don't think they did. No, they didn't. They lost to um Duke. So, no, but, like, they had a really good run. They beat Florida State. Um, I don't know. Just not not my cup of tea in that matchup. I'm just going to go with Notre Dame in that one. And then I'm going to go with Gonzaga over Notre Dame. Uh, Florida State versus Arizona. I'm going to go with Arizona here. I think Arizona is one of the hottest teams coming to this tournament. Them and Duke is really the teams to look out for. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's really not much else to say. I think Florida State, you know, they had a – they had a really bad tournament uh, in that semifinal. I think they played really bad. Uh, they could have won the game with ease. There were so many opportunities for them to get so many points, and then they just they they got into foul trouble really early, and it was just bad. It was it was bad. Um, score doesn't tell how much of a blowout that was, in my opinion. All right, so this is my um, elite eight. Um, I think a lot of people probably agree with this. Um, probably not in the early rounds, probably some upsets, but these are this is my opinion of what it's gonna look like. So now, uh, these are the Elite Eight selections I'm going to go with. Uh, so right here, I'm going to go with Kansas over Oregon. Uh, just because Kansas losing last year in the Elite Eight, I think really like lit a fire under this team. 
Obviously, not everyone has returned to this team, but there are some returning players. I think they got way better defensively. They were playing really poorly last year defensively, and I think that that's what's going to uh, sprout them up to, um, I guess, a Final Four appearance. I think that they have a real possibility with Oregon. Um, like, against Oregon, yeah, like, I don't know. It's like, it's hard. They won the Big 12. No, they lost. Well, they won the Big 12 regular season. They lost first round. I think that's what's gonna really like the fire into this team. They scored more points a game. I mean, uh, their defense, you know, they 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 have like a a plus 10 difference. Their RPI is insane. Uh, Mason the third is like on another level right now. I mean, I don't know. I just think they'll get to the final four. Uh, I'm gonna go across here. I'm gonna go with uh, Arizona over Gonzaga. I think this one's gonna be like one of the the blowouts of the um of the later rounds like how last year we had i think it was uh oklahoma versus villanova that game was a blow i think this is gonna be similar i think you should think i just think that these seeds should be flopped with arizona being a one and then gonzaga being a two and then i don't know i just feel like arizona is such a better team and they're so hot right now that there's really no way that gonzaga will beat this team and get to a final four i just don't see it happening Villanova versus Duke is interesting because you have the former reigning champions and a team that went out in round three to uh, Oregon last year, but Duke is hot right now, and they just came off a very big win. They won their tournament. They're playing well as of late, and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to pull off the upset here and call Duke into the Final Four. I think that's pretty... I, I don't think that's shocking to people. Uh, I don't know. I just don't. Th I don't think that's that shocking to some. It's hard to tell. I mean, Villanova being the overall number one seed, wow, no one's picked East Tennessee. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Should I be a bitch and, like, pull back? I'm going to go with that. Florida, Florida. Yeah, I'm a bitch. I know. No, I, I, I still think that Villanova beats Florida, but that's just my, I don't know. It doesn't really affect my bracket, so. Yeah. All right, North Carolina, UCLA. I really want to pick North Carolina here. UCLA, very good team. I believe they met early in the season. That could have been Kentucky, though. Um, UCLA, third seed, lost their tournament. Kentucky. Did they win that tournament? Kentucky did win it. Alright, so yeah, Kentucky won their tournament. I mean, I don't know. But, uh, North, UCLA lost early. I'm gonna go with North Carolina, though. I know I just completely switched my answer, but that's fine. This is a pretty good Final Four, I think, to me in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, obviously, Arizona being in the Final Four would be really cool for them. I think that they could beat Duke. But, I don't know. This is very hard. I'm not going to give a reasoning for these because I don't feel like I can explain them that well. These are just my personal picks. But... North Carolina, Duke. And... North Carolina. No, Duke. No, no. Blind, bam. <sighs> North Carolina... I'm gonna go with the uh, air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Duke. Yep. I'm going with Duke. I think they'll get the 3 1 win in the season over uh, North Carolina. Alright, so that's my. Uh, that is my bracket. Um, Just to recap. Uh, you could slow the video down, pause any time, I'm gonna go through this very slowly. That's my bracket, boys and girls, so... Roast me in the comments for my horrible picks. Um, I watch basketball, but I don't watch it religiously like some bracketologist, but... Last year I did pretty well, um, I got the final four right. But I didn't get the winner right, I said North Carolina over, uh, Oklahoma. So... Yeah. Um, I had a pretty good bracket though. I won two of my groups, so I feel like I could do it again this year if some of these upsets go my way. Uh, but yeah.
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end it here. I'm kind of rambling now. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'll probably do another one for like women's March Madness and maybe the NIT. The NIT tournament has some sack teams. I think like Illinois State missing out and Syracuse. Uh, could I, they could be number one seeds. I think they are number one seeds, but yeah. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, see you guys later.